Apple, AMD are essentially at a bit of an inflection point, right? Mm. Um, these, we, we all know that these guys are the only ones in the world, apart from NVIDIA, who make GPU accelerators. They're the only one with the technology, the intellectual property, and the leadership through Lisa Xu to actually have any form of chance to take market share from them. Mm. Um, and they had an AI event last week where they explained all these new products, and Lisa basically said that these some of their chips are actually faster than NVIDIA's, and I'll take her word for it. She's a you know first-class operator, and um, certainly not. She doesn't exaggerate what she's doing or saying. But the really important thing that was yesterday was the um, if David Faber, who's one of the more reputable journalists out there on CNBC, said that you know his um, the read through was that they are going to get an AWS, Amazon AWS deal. That would be somewhat of a revolutionary moment um, yeah. because at this at this point, the hyperscalers, are, uh, you know, obviously the business all goes to NVIDIA. So um, they did a deal with Cl uh, Google Cloud um, about two months ago, but that's for the CPU. This is GPUs. Mm. Lisa Xu said, we're just going all in on GPUs, which is, so if they can do to, to NVIDIA what they did to Intel, which is gradually bit by bit take market share from them, no doubt NVIDIA will stay the kings, but that's fine because they've got 90% market share or 93% market share in mm. GPUs. If AMD can move their number from 7 to 20 or 25 over the next few years, this stock's going in one direction. So I think that well, the price action is a, is a combination of factors. It's everyone got very, very bearish um, at, at a similar time to when Trump was doing all of his tariff announcements mm. and everyone thought the world was ending. Um, and then, so a lot of that is simply people re just realizing that the world isn't ending and the semiconductor space in general rallying, plus their numbers were better. So people have been scrambling and upgrading. Um, so it's a combination of factors, but in terms of them getting an AWS deal and them getting um, a foothold in the GPU accelerator space and taking market share from, from NVIDIA, that is not remotely priced into this stock, in mm. my view.